everyone, my name is Raziel Kane, and I'm back with another toy review and I still have a sore throat so you can enjoy my sexy voice and today we're gonna review a gift I just received from my friend Cow Warrior. Yes, that's a moniker he's been using since, I don't know, 1990. And uh, he, um, not long ago I gifted him a uh, Dungeons and Dragons 2nd uh, edition box set of the Council of Worms old thing. Uh, but we had agreed on a price and I finally just decided to give it to him because he's my friend and I felt like really cheap to try to sell him stuff and uh, basically uh, to repay me as he said he got me this I cannot believe I have this spoiler pack and I'm extremely happy um, War for Cybertron Transformers trilogy, you know, like it, it doesn't say it's the Netflix ones um, So it's not technically part of Earth Rise or Siege or but it is a Siege mode Which is cool because I don't have a Siege Optimus Prime I only keep one version of each character as you know, and I have the Earth Rise Prime But now I'm able to enjoy a different figure with the Siege mode and I'm very happy about that and that figure looks amazing. I had been I spotted one on tftoys.ca, and uh, but eventually it got uh, sold, and I didn't have the money to buy it at the time. So this is a perfect gift right now. And uh, usually during the review, I I give you the uh, French word of the day. Well, I'm starting to do that just for fun. On the box it says spoilers inside, and then you have the French word zivulgachar, which is a completely made up word. Like that's not an actual word. Just spoilers in French would mean something that just spoils you. They added Zvulgashar, it doesn't really mean, it means what it means, but it, it could have been just Gashar, which is to spoil. Anyway, French word of the day done. Um, really happy, I've already opened this, as you can tell. And uh, we're gonna take a look at the accessories, the figure, the, and uh, of course, my amazing transformation. Yeah, usually before I do this, I show you a little clip of the G1, uh, a G1 scene with this uh, character in it, but there isn't. Oh wait, maybe I can put the dead Optimus one. Hold on. Yeah, it kind of works. Out of the box, when you open this, it comes with this huge sheet of instruction where you, they show you how to lay Prime in the trailer, uh, what you can do with the scanner or the repair bay. Um, where you can put the guns, the swords, how to transform Geyser, how to transform the snake to make a shield or a ramp. And then on the other side, you have transformation. Very fun, detailed and everything. But I did have to watch a Larkin's Lair video on how to transform him from robot to truck. Because most YouTubers I follow do the transformation from truck to robot. But there was the joint at the hip where you unplug. It wasn't extremely clear on the paper how to do it. And uh, so I wanted to watch a video just to make sure. But uh, thanks Larkin. Accessory number one, the Play-Doh with the Energon Cube. Very nice addition. They're soft plastic. Uh, but they're not rubbery, but they're not super hard. Uh, but uh, you can't really hold them with Nemesis. There's other characters that I can use this to display. And uh, I think that's a nice addition. I don't know if anybody ever figured out why they give us Play-Doh. I, I think a baggie would have been great. So you have the rifle, very waffly. Uh, nice details. I think the shape looks a little more G1 accurate, actually. More to the cartoon, I think. They molded it better than the Earth Rise Prime. This one doesn't bend though, like this. But when I look at it, I think this one here looks more accurate to the cartoon. But I, I do enjoy both mold. You have these guns which you can peg on the sides. You can. There's no real room to put them on the carrier but they're good guns if you want to have a fully armed nemesis prime of course hollow in the back but great 
great guns and you can always plug this on other characters this massive sword like, like it's huge you put it in his hand and it's borderline well not borderline it is disproportionate I think take a look now put in properly it's extremely massive looks more like a combiner sword you know I, I could see Devastator or Menasaur using this uh, but great looking sword you have Fangtron a straight up repaint of this guy and I think he even has less paint application look at the back two tone here one tone here but he still looks good serves the purpose you have this blast effect which is a little bendy but looks okay I, I would have wished for more type of blast effects uh, rather than this you have the trailer which is a straight-up repaint of Earthrise and they have about the same level of paint application which is none but awesome trailer most people this that trailer they complain you know what it's not that bad and I'm just glad we have a trailer uh, you have Geyser which for once I'll actually show transformation so he goes like this just plug it like this unfold twist there you go he's I don't know laser beaks older cousin it looks nice but it doesn't stand because or maybe can I eh, no it, it, it doesn't doesn't matter great sword so now I'm gonna remove this and show you a couple of way to equip nemesis prime you can yeah, this is a very loose piece, so I prefer to plug it first and then clip it. So you have this way you can equip him with a shield. Uh, if you want to, you can put a gun here and here. You could even put it in the smokestacks if you wanted to. You can put in the gun. Um, let's say he got shot, so that's why he's black now. He's super pissed off because Gears shot him in the back, or well, in the shoulder. And you can remove this sword and add this. It's really tight, really. Okay, there you go. And put in this sword. So now, easy, complete badass who can annihilate all the Autobots because Unicron told them so. That's one thing, I actually don't know the origin of Nemesis Prime outside of the War for Cybertron trilogy show. I know there was, you know, clones in G1 or Replication, even in Beast Wars they had a similar thing with Optimus Primal. But what's the official story? I don't know. So maybe I should go watch another uh, video of Rodimus Primal. And if you want, you can display all of his equipment in the trailer, the repair bay, whatever you want to call it. The only thing is the sword. It has a peg hole here, so you could clip it on the figure. But the, the trailer comes with uh, ports everywhere, but none for this one. So you could, I don't know, maybe just angle this a little better. Come on, I did it earlier. There you go. You can put it like this, but it's, you know, looks weird. So I wish they would have found a way to, uh, and even there's a, a square port here, a rectangle port, and maybe it's because I'm new to collecting, but I don't know where this is supposed to go. Um, I haven't found a usefulness yet. Uh, can you put it here? There's another piece, uh, no, I was thinking maybe this diamond thing, this crystal uh, detail could uh, 
serve as a port, but it doesn't. So, and same thing with guys that you can't, you know. Anyway, this is how uh, I probably will display it because there's a lot of accessories in it. You can't really put them all on the figure because if you do, then uh, he looks uh, a little bit overloaded, but I'm extremely happy with this, uh, this set. And now let's take a look at articulations. Let's take a look at articulation, paints and sculpt. The sculpting itself is awesome. I like how they hide the hollowness um, with this piece here. So you have all the robot details here, but you fold this and it hides better than most figure. And I think that's a nice touch and it's part of transformation. I really like the transformation on this one. Took me a while to figure it out because of how the, oh, mistransform, because of the hip. See, because this was pegged super tight and I'm used to the Earthrise mold where you put the leg back, but then if you put it back, it only goes up to this way. So I had to watch a video to know that I have to remove from the black part, leaving the crotch in front. So that was, I was afraid to break it. So I prefer to watch a video for that. So thanks Larkin. Um, Articulation, all right, so uh, full 360 on the arms and hand, a very nice elbow band. You can raise the arm and it's fun because the stack actually, the smoke stack uh, lifts with it. So that's always a nice uh, feature. Same thing on the other arm. The head on a ball joint will turn 360, give you uh, Kind of a bit of attitude, but not really. Goes up and down, forwards and backwards. The eyes are extremely well done. I think this is this is not Optimus Prime. You know, it's it, it, he's more menacing. Um, the leg will go forward this way, but it's held by the crotch, so it doesn't go um, up all the way. A very, very, very nice knee bend. And you have the rocker. No, no toe tilt per se, but you, because of transformation, you can angle it downwards for the heel and the toe. Uh, oh, um, waist swivel, complete 360. Uh, oh, and you can do the split. Very, very detailed, very nicely articulated. The paint, I love the windows on this guy. Um, there's no, I thought that he came with the a Matrix, or actually, I, I don't know if Siege Prime came with a Matrix, because when you move the, the head to go inside, I don't think there's that much room for a Matrix, so, but I don't have Siege Prime, so I don't know. And I love the way when you transform him, how this opens up, and refolds over uh, the cab part. I like the way how they hide everything when you transform it. And just for some quick comparison, here he is with Earth Rise Prime, and you can really tell the difference between the molds. Just, I think it's the same head sculpt, or if not, it's really similar. I wish Optimus Prime had clearer eyes, just to really have them pop up. But love the different chests. You know, it's similar yet the same, I think, the siege mold hold you know hides the wheels better similar leg or same leg but they don't exactly transform the same they don't actually transform at all the same way uh, i love how it's similar yet different the arms are really different because of the transformation this one looks like he has like some extra forearms like popeye great set both amazing figure to you know by their own account uh, but i love displaying them together both are great figures different transformation and uh, i'm really happy that it's i don't have a straight repaint you know that i have a different mold for nemesis prime it's uh it's great for the collection and here he is with fellow herald of unicron galvatron and i think nemesis could have been a little taller Galvatron is huge and dwarfs them by at least a head. 
So Nemesis could have been a little taller, or maybe Galvatron should be a little shorter, but... Um, I'm hoping to see how Galvatron scales with Rodimus Prime. And finally, with unofficial Herald of Unicron Raziel Kane, a custom figure by Inputs, Reviews, and Custom. So for transformation, I know you guys have been waiting for this. You're gonna bend the arm like this. Lift this up here. I'm just gonna show you this part here where you unclip the back and move it backwards like this. And there you go. Whoa, sorry about that. Okay, uh, don't know what happened here. Let's rewind. Unclip the back, move it backwards like this. And there you go. Oh, come on! Where you unclip the back, move it backwards like this. Okay, finally. You know, somebody, they want to hug the spotlight. Fantastic truck mode. You see a bit of robot parts, but I think, from the transformation, the way that they unfold the wheels from inside to outside is way better than the Earthrise mold. I love how this piece covers the whole thing from the inside here. And they have that bit of matrix C molding. So I think that's really neat. Um, I love the extra light on top, like, and the details for the headlights and the, this part for the, the, the chest now, like, well, not the chest, but the front end of the truck, the bright translucent red side windows, translucent red, the Decepticon logo. Um, one thing from the Earthrise that fits better is that these parts here that unfolds from the leg, they hide under the cab and they clip with Prime. So I think that's really neat. Uh, here they're just sitting there. I wish both of these had bigger smokestacks because, you know, as you know, a bored mother in the 80s probably made a complaint to some department saying, oh, a child could potentially poke his eye out with a long stack. I'd like to see the statistics. If somebody has that, put it in the description. I want to go read about that. Which bored mother in the 80s decided that this was dangerous and that kids were stupid enough to poke their eyes out? I've never known anyone to do that. Doesn't say, I don't mean it didn't happen. If it did, I'm truly sorry. But I want to see how many, like, how did it happen? Eh, great, great truck. And if you put him with the cab, which is the exact earth rise cab, I think it looks amazing. I really do. It's looking great. And you can put some of the accessory, like if you want, you could potentially put these guns here. Like so. But I don't think it looks that great. And there's really no, like, you cannot put them on this peg because they block here because of this piece. Same thing with here. And there's nothing on the cab where you can, like Ultra Magnus, where you could plug them. So, maybe a, a little, not failure, but could have been better thought. The instruction says, put the gun here. Yeah. No. Running out of space here, but let's... Push this back. All right, a quick comparison. I think this looks great side by side. You can see the similitude and the differences on both mold. I think I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm really happy. As you can tell, it's my first Nemesis Prime. And well, actually all of my figures are my first because I never collected before. But that being said, fantastic molding, fantastic articulation, fantastic figure overall. I'm extremely happy. And because I didn't want to transform Galvatron and Raziel Kane custom figure, uh, here he is with Huffer. Just because. And of course, with Huffer, if you really want to be technical, you can do this. Yeah, and it doesn't look that bad. So final thoughts. 
I'm extremely pleased with this figure. I absolutely love it. I don't think I could have been more surprised when uh, my friend gave it to me yesterday. It was a, uh, a shock. It's a figure that I, I really wanted, but then I couldn't purchase it at the moment. So it just fell perfectly. I love this mold. I think it's cool that I have this, this mold for Nemesis Prime and I have the Earthrise mold for Optimus Prime so that there's a difference. It's an awesome display set. Lots of accessories, two transforming accessories, the sword and Fangtron. I'm having a lot of fun with this figure. Thank you again, Cow Warrior. So guys, if you enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video, it always help the channel. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.